Welcome to the Dice Tower, a series of videos about games and the people who played them. And now, here's your host, Joe Stedman. Hi, I'm Joe Stedman. This is Gary the Gord. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to talk about a victory denied. A victory loss came out in 2006 by Multi Man Publishing. And I'm excited because a victory denied just came out this year. Just recently, I just got it. It's still in the shrink wrap. And I'm going to review the game right out of the box because, it is, from what I understand, the rules are almost exactly the same as uh, Victory Lost. A uh, Victory Lost is um, maybe I'll do a review about some other time, but it's a very simple game. And I'll talk about that in a minute. So, this is a Victory Denied by Adam Starkweather, Multi Man Publishing. All right, let's open her up. Let's see here. Woohoo! I'm excited. Ooh, a drum roll. Oh, oh. Don't you hate it? Uh, you can't. A spot right there. Oh, 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 I got it. All right, here we go. Nice sound effects. All right, so, off with this rink wrap. Ooh, fresh game smell. Oh. All right, what's in the box? Ooh, a victory denied. AVD. All right. So this is just uh, thanking me for my purchase. Uh oh, have a rata. So there's multi man included their rata sheet. There's already uh, some errata, but at least they caught it. They must have already printed the rule books. This is kind of nice because now I don't got to go online and research. I would prefer no errata, but at least I know what the mistakes are. So I got that right here. Got uh, a couple of dice, ten sided and a six sided. The typical ASL die. Ooh, I got two of those little red sheets. I don't know why. And I don't know why. All right. Then we got the uh, the rule book. Uh, looks like your basic rules. From what I've understood and researched online, it's basically the same exact rules as a victory lost. Now, uh, pretty, pretty simple game as far as a typical war game goes of movement points, terrain, uh, combat results table. Matter of fact, let's look. Let's keep going. Here's the rules. Uh, speaking of combat results tables, here we go. Combat results table. Um, the Hitler directive table. That's going to be interesting. I have to look that up. Then you got your map. Uh, nice, good quality paper map. I would prefer mounted, but no one does that nowadays except for a few. But, um, nice big map. Let's see. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Wow. That's a big one. That's a big map. And it's got right on it, just like Victory Lost, it's got your time, it's got your replacements right on the board here, your terrain effects, the works. Um, starting positions for your players, right on the, for your pieces, right on the map. Uh, places to put things. I, I do like that. I do like the way that Multi-Man Publishing does their maps. All right. Uh, so what else here? Oh, we got a second results table so that both players can have one. And then look at this. There's one sheet of counters. Yeah, just one sheet of counters, which mean uh, good high quality color counters with your basic uh, symbols here. They got tank silhouettes and stuff, but um, low counter density. That's another thing that makes this game simple. Not that many pieces. This is the whole. This is all the pieces for the whole game. How does the game play out? Well, basically, this is a uh, a chit pulling game, meaning that. You're going to set up all your forces, each player. You're going to have an objective to capture whatever the victory, whatever the objective is, is in the rules. But once you get everything set up, each of your your units, each division or yeah, each division will have a or army group or whatever it is, will have a uh, a little a little command token or a command shit. And you're going to put that into a cup. Matter of fact, right on the back of the box, they show you. Let's zoom in there, Monica. They're in the back of the box, they show you a cup. I'm mad, the cup doesn't come with a game. That got ripped off. But anyway, so you put those little command tokens or those command counters into the box, into the cup, and then on your turn, at the beginning of each turn, you're gonna draw some of those out and tell you who goes. So it's it adds a, a fog of war or randomness. And like in a victory loss, there'll be certain ones that allow everything to move or just certain units to move. And um once again, I only got a few minutes through these video reviews. I'm not going to go into all the, the gameplay or how it plays out. But I just say that this is a very simple game. I would say this is even a game that a new wargamer could learn without any help. The rules are short, very concise. It is a second game, so all the kinks have been worked out in the rule books. 
multi-man publishing prices are, are pretty uh, pretty uh, affordable for their games. And I think it makes it a great addition. So you've got a victory lost, a victory denied, and then I imagine there'll be more in the future. Maybe uh, a victory granted whenever the Soviets finally take Berlin. I don't know. So I would definitely recommend this game. If you don't have victory lost, pick it up. But if you do have victory lost, get victory denied. If you don't have victory lost, get victory denied. Get them both. I don't know. So, till next time. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.